Hey, what's up everybody? This is Alex Molina 93 here. Today's gonna be my reaction to Anger Video Nerd Silver Surfer episode 27. And this was requested by Froppy Gaming. So a big shout out to you, buddy. So without further ado, so let's get started, shall we? All right, here we go. One, two, three. Episode number 27. June 5, 2007. Oh my God. GameTrailers.com fucking presents <laughs> the Mega Man version of ABGN. Beating up all the bad games, the bad consoles, and the bad accessories. So, okay, the 32X. The Versal Boy. <laughs> Drinking beer. He brings the cool intros for his episodes. Cool artwork, though. Alright, this is Silver Surfer. Silver shit. <laughs> he looks so stupid. I mean, what the hell's wrong with him? He's just like... <laughs> Alright, so this stage select thing, kind of like in Mega Man, which is good for the sake of this reason. He's so, so funny, he how he says, he looks so stupid. <laughs> so and the pose like he does, shoot games, he does look like lame. Or I agree on that. You know, nothing too special, but not it is a bad, shoot 'em up actually. game. Your weapon's kind of lame, but there's power ups which let you shoot double. The fuck? I can't touch the walls? That's right. You can't touch anything. The in this pose game. he does so when he feels around. ashamed. Anyway, what was I saying about the weapons? Oh yeah, th there's there's not much else I think you can get. I mean, you can shoot isn't backwards. Silver Surfer like supposed to be the strongest you? one, and, and that's not always the, a real shit sucker. And, and not you the win. Concentrate on what's ahead. It's kind of clumsy to switch back because you press the B button to change direction, but use A to shoot. Ah oh, fuck! I guess that wasn't a good time to demonstrate. So there you go, shooting the rubber ducky, which doesn't die. Oh, fuck! If you play this game, one thing I can guarantee is that your thumb is going to get pretty damn sore from tapping that button. Yeah, I would there's get sore. There's not instant when you can take a break. You're constantly firing away, even when there's nothing in sight because you don't know what's coming up. I mean, there's no reason not to be shooting, and this wouldn't bother me so fucking much if you could just hold down the button and let it keep shooting. Yeah, but no, I know, right? of course not. So what you need is a turbo button. Whether mm -hmm. it's an NES Advantage or an NES Max, put that other fucking controller away. I Press used to have some controllers that go. have so the, the, tuber, stage, the turbo the function. Consists of two or more sections. I mean, not the and NES, but the for the GameCube. Section, and we got an overhead view, which is equally as difficult as any of the rest. Actually, I think they're worse. Because you don't know what's supposed to be underneath you or blocking you. I'm mm -hmm. assuming I can't touch these wooden parts. Uh-oh, now I'm probably fucked. Oh, never mind. I guess I can go through those. Well, See, the graphics are so unclear as to what you're allowed to touch and what you're not. You don't know what the hazards are. Look at that. That's not fair. I couldn't see that tiny bullet coming through the trees. It's like camouflaged. And the way those waves move, it's just like a bunch of flickering blue lines. It plays with your eyes and fucks you all up. What a cruel game. Yeah. I give up. I'm trying another stage. Fire Lord. All right, another overhead. Ah, fuck! This game I can't looks extremely you can't touch hard. The ground. That means that you have to stay in the brown area, which pretty much limits you to about 20% of the screen. This is ridiculous. Just staying within this narrow range. It's like playing the game Operation, but with a bunch of shit flying around trying to kill you. Mm -hmm. You have such a tight space to maneuver if you want to kill these things. Come on, come on. Ah! Let's try again. Come on, come on. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I would get frustrated by that. Long. Or if you can go diagonally, like if you can go at an angle, but you're always pointing No way I will play this game ever. To squeeze through narrow spots like this. You know, it's so easy to die in this game, and every time you die, you have to see this. This sad, pathetic image of Silver Surfer just trembling yeah. in defeat. I mean, if you looks play so... this game, this it image so will be lame. burned in your retina. And how appropriate. Because this picture expresses better than words my feelings on this game. Just mm -hmm. look at it. That sums up the whole thing. Mm -hmm. What I say before? This game's not bad? Well, no, it isn't bad. 
It's fucking horrible. And I dare yeah, you to it play it. Look, just because it's hard good doesn't mean it's bad. All. But this game just went way, way too far. The difficulty is legendary. This is the grand champion of hard motherfucking games. It doesn't fuck around. Why couldn't there be a health bar? Like three yeah. hits? Would that be yeah, okay? Yeah, at the very least. No. One fucking hit and you're dead. Well, then couldn't you have extra lives? Which you do, but they don't matter because when you die, you start back from the beginning of the stage. There's some checkpoints along the way, yeah, but that doesn't change the fact that when you die, you go back. Compare that yeah. to Contra or Super C. You get hit once and you're dead, but you get to continue where you left off. Yeah, you don't have to start I mean, at the beginning at least of the that's stage fair. unless you lost all your lives. If that happened, even if your those are better games wouldn't help much. Silver Surfer, on the other hand, just says, fuck all that. If you're going to play, you got to be hardcore. So now we're in Fire Lord Section 2. Whoa, watch the fire. Oh, shit. Uh. Fucking jack-o'-lanterns? All right, let's try again. Dodge the fire. Stay up and watch the jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, better watch that thing. Oh, God, I got to go down. Oh, fuck. Your mother. Fire's coming down. Got that part under control. Watch the jack-o'-lanterns. Fuck. Touch the damn ceiling. Fire's this game is down. punishing. Jack lanterns. Oh, 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 ass. All right, this time I'm trying to shoot those fucking jack lanterns. Stay back, back, back. Oh, oh, god. All right, getting into place. Watch the walls. Oh, you fucking pumpkin piece of shit. <laughs> this time, stand at the top. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Get under that thing. Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Come yes. on, you can do it. No. Oh. I can't take it anymore. Yeah, tell me about it. You know. There's really no point of going on. It's not like there's a reward, that's not like there's a pot luck. of gold sitting on top of the TV. You know, if you beat the game, it probably just says the end, and that's it. So to keep playing it, you gotta be a fucking nerd. Alright, gotta watch out for these statues puking lava. God, another motherfucking pumpkin. There's so many obstacles. I mean, why? I can't touch that red pot! Alright, that's where I give up. Let's try another stage. I figure I gotta be able to beat at least one I would one give up of them. right away. Now, this is really a bitch. I mean, all these ghouls coming at me. They got bats, jack-o'-lanterns, and now ghosts. It's like another kindergarten Halloween game. They should have just called it whatever. This yeah, is it does insane. not look I like mean, a look Silver Surfer this. game. Oh my god, so much shit, so much shit. Here we go. Oh yeah, oh god. I and it didn't need lot. to be a Silver Surfer you game. Ghosts, you fucking motherfucking pieces of shit. Get I hate those gargoyles. Oh my god. I hate it. I just fucking hate it. Look at this. This pattern is just insane. It's basically just a bunch yeah, of lines you, waving across the screen. And if you go anywhere near those paths, you're dead. Once again, let's try another stage. Possessor. Well, it's not any easier, especially when I'm losing my patience. Look at this. There's so much stuff coming at you. Bullets are flying everywhere. Ugh. Let's <sighs> pause this. Just look. Look. Any of these areas are dead zones. You have stuff coming at you every which way, which means there's not one safe spot because you need to keep moving forward. So you're in danger's way all the time. You just have to play the shit out of it until you know yeah. in advance exactly what's mm -hmm. gonna happen. Unless you've played this game, you have no idea how hard it is. Let me try to explain it, okay? Imagine if I were to draw a maze on a sheet of paper. I'm asking you to draw a line from the beginning of this maze to the end. You can't run into any dead ends, and you can't touch any of the lines. Now, while you're trying to do this, I'm moving the maze to the left. It would drive you fucking nuts. And if that's a bit yeah. too theoretical to accept, then let me explain it this way. Imagine playing Mega Man 2. Imagine you have no health bar. Imagine if you get hit one single fucking time, you're dead. And is that fair? It's challenging, yes. But it's not to say that unless you're a hardcore expert, you're going to take a few hits At least they now, made I'm not a challenge done. fair. Imagine on top of that, multiply the number of enemies on the screen and give them more Mega hit Man 2 is Imagine a great game. Imagine if you were playing Zelda and you weren't allowed to Another get hit great game. or touch any of the walls or blocks. I mean, this game just pukes snot up my ass. I mean, it's like you touch the top of the building, you die. You touch the ceiling, you die. You touch the floor, you die. Oh too my far to the right, you die. Too far to the left, you die. You die. You die. You die. You die. 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 The pokey does. One last stage. I'm sure it's no exception to the difficulty. Oh my god. You're just trying to avoid this stuff that's coming sideways, and then this gun appears at the top of the screen with no warning and shoots in three directions. Instant death. 
If you try to blast oh my away God. as soon as it appears, you just end up getting yourself killed too. Well, I didn't because mean you a need game to like be this. in the line of fire in order to shoot at it. Sometimes you come to like a blockade of enemies, just a flood of bullets coming down the whole screen. It's just one big dead zone. If you're in that area, you're simply dead. Mm -hmm. So fuck it. I can't complete a single stage. This game is so hard, it would actually be easier to go outside in a thunderstorm and try to dodge rain. It would be easier to walk barefoot without your toes or heels touching the floor. It would be easier to pick fly shit out of pepper while wearing boxing gloves. The fact that you can get hit only once pretty much means that you're weaker than every other enemy in the game. Mm -hmm. How do you die from just touching a wall? I can understand that's he's flying stupid. like 200 miles per hour and he crashes into the wall, but the yep. fact that he just touches the wall and dies is just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I never read any of the comics, so I don't For know real. what Silver Surfer's powers are, but isn't he supposed to be pretty strong? So why yeah, do you make him into that's what I said. Why is he fucking up rubber ducks and weeping like a crybaby? It's like some sort of fucking joke. Like, what if they had Bruce Lee tripping over his own shoelaces? It's a fucking insult. This game should have been classic. But instead, yeah, it's they gave Silver it's Surfer a bad name. this fucking LJN poster I have back here. Man, I would just piss and shit all over this fucking game. The I LJN poster you have. It makes me feel like having or, an anal evacuation. Or, sh or should I say, you had. Because this is an older room. What are you going to do? You're taking out the game and you threw it on the wall. <laughs> Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> so there we go guys, that is my reaction to Anger Video Game Nerd episode So there we go guys, that is my reaction to Anger Video Game Nerd Silver Surfer episode 27. I thought it is a really good episode. One of the first episodes that are still a classic to watch. It was very funny how he said, "He looks so stupid. Look the pose that he does." I mean, like this. I mean, really? And the other pose he does when he when he fails. I mean, when he... When you lose. And he does a pose like this. I mean, that looks ridiculous. And they made him a wimp. I mean, they gave Silver Surfer a bad name. And this is one of the Marvel games that should not be played that are not worth playing. I mean, we have good Marvel games, but this is not one of them, and I would never play it either. I mean, there has to be a good Silver Surfer game. I mean, at, Insomniac Games could try, or somebody else, that they can bring Silver Surfer justice, but this, they made them worse. I mean, just getting hit by a wall, that's ridiculous. Just by a simple touch, I mean, what is that? I mean, why? Why they made him like this? Ah. <sighs> but either way, a really good episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you want to check out Cinemassacre, Anger Video Game Nerd, and the episode, I'll put the links in the description below and better subscribe to him. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos to come for you guys enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and a like button below and comment in a section below what do you guys think about AVGN Silver Surfer. Do you like it or not? It is your choice. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Peace. Just like that.